Shalom and hello. This is Sister Victoria. Woo, truly, I got a uproar from my sisters um, with my last video. Um, and it was titled, In Polygyny, Men and Women Don't Consider This. Well, I think some of the women didn't uh, remember the title. It was, I'm primary was talking about people that was mostly in polygynous relationships. However, I wanted to state my sisters, my sis, my sisters went in. I mean, I'm like, wow. Um, I didn't realize my sisters, my sisters got offended. Um, and I wanted to specify sisters and I'll go in later, but I'm going to just get down to earth with my sisters. Um, my girl Peaches B, Georgia, and then I had uh, a Juanita Mitchell uh, said bye girl to me, you know, and I'm like, wow, um, you know, there's going to be topics when we look at videos, sisters, um, and blessings to everyone that's listening. This is Sister Victoria. We're, there's going to be topics, sisters, that uh, when we look at any videos that we may not like, we may not be interested in, and and I'm like, you know, um, it happens. But I want to say, you know, it just touched on something I had already been thinking about, but since the responses were the way that they were from the sisters mainly, it just made me want to address this even more. I was thinking about sisters. We are so hard on each other. We are so hard on each other. I will specify what I was referring, referring to also to make it more plainer to you in that video. I was basically talking about when a woman um, is involved, and mainly you can see this in polygynous relationships. When a woman is wicked um, and she joins with a man who's already wicked, that a lot of times... Um, you find a man become even more wicked um, because here's this woman that helps encourage this behavior. Now, we all know women, most good women get some of the most worst and wicked men. We all have, most of us, if you're a good woman, most of us have at least been there at least once. And if you haven't, you've been truly blessed. So I'm not talking about good, righteous women that are striving to be holy and righteous. And it's not, and I use the phrase about head coverings or makeup. I was saying that in putting on fringes or long skirts or not wearing makeup, pretending like you righteous, but the inside of you are wicked. You know, you are not presenting the type of love that the father tells us we should have. That's what I was referring to and how when a woman is wicked, um, she can actually encourage the man to be even more wicked. That's what I'm referring to. I'm not saying women don't initiate a wickedness from a man. Um, I'll use uh, Matthew 14 for an example. When um, John the Baptist, when Herod is and the King Herod, uh, he was already a wicked man, but because his wife was even wickeder, it just made him worse. That's what I'm referring to. I, I, I didn't mean to step on anybody's toes, hurt anybody, or um, mistreat or offend anyone, sisters. But I do want to say this after I say this about John the Baptist. Um, Herodice, which was the queen, she had a wicked man. First of all, she, they were he was sleeping with his own brother's wife, okay? And... Um, on top of that, look, checking his niece out, watching his niece dance and being aroused and tell her, I'll give you whatever you want. And then the mother, her wickedness, she told her daughter to ask for John the Baptist, a righteous man's the head to be cut off. That's what I was referring to that when a man is already wicked and a wicked woman comes along, then he can become more wicked. So I hope I explained that well enough, but I also, while we hear sisters, why are we so hard on one another? That is that is a subject that, you know, men, if they have a beef. Now, you got a lot of men that's petty nowadays. You see that more often. But, you know, I'm in, in my 50s. So I'm like in my early 50s. So I'm like women back then, you know, we kind of like stood together a little bit more. We kind of had each other back a little bit more. 
And it just seemed like throughout the years, as time went by, sisters are so against one another. Like, wow, it, it's just like, wow, we seem like, you know, cats fighting all the time. It's like, and here's a good example, sisters. A man can break our heart 50,000 times and we go right back to him, except what he do. Your sister can piss you off one time. I'm done with her. I ain't got nothing else to say to her. She can get on my nerve. Why are we like that towards one another? You know, like, I've never been like that towards my sisters. Um, you know, it, I mean, you have to really do something extremely bad to make me be like, I'm just done with you. I don't want to be bothered. But I, I just often used to wonder that, you know, I'm like, I watch women take crap off of men for years and years and years. And a female, if she can come along and be, and y'all call yourself girls, y'all cool, she say or do anything, one or two things you don't, we don't like, sister, sisters be ready to put you away, you know. But then we'll give men years of our time and our lives of mistreatment. What is that in us? You know, I know the Bible speaks of, you know, the daughter coming against the mother and the um, daughter-in-law coming against the mother-in-law. But what's in us when we just don't have that love for our sisters? You know, it's like we have guards up and we're waiting. Um, but then, you know, but then when, the, you know, but when it comes to men, we just, it's a whole different scenario. And, and I'm like, I'm trying to understand that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a single sister right now by choice, and I'm straight. <laughs> I love men, okay? I just don't love wicked, foolish men, okay? So, and I'm not desperate enough to accept anything because I know that if the father says that he loves me and that I am the apple of his eye, then I'm going to wait until he sees sends me someone who feels the same way about me. Hallelujah. That he sees those virtues in me as well so but I just want to say I've always been the type of sister that have love for my sister try to look out for my sister because I feel like as women when we look back through history we can see how women have always had it hard and it didn't have me have to do anything with um race as much even white women had it hard many, many years ago. You know, they even had it hard. You had Women have always had challenges harder than men have ever had it from the beginning. You know, even when we go back to our ancestors and slavery, the women have always had it the worst. We've had it hard. And it's bad enough that we have everybody else against us. And it seemed like sisters, we're sometimes the hardest on one another. You know, and it's like, man, you know, you can see brotherly love, too much brotherly love. That's why we got some men loving each other too much. But I'm just saying, like, we're, we need more sisterly love for one another. We need to be more loving towards our sisters, more understanding. You know, I don't know if it has to do with because we're emotional creatures, so we just respond, you know, in our emotions. But just think about it, you know, sisters, you know, next time, you know, get, give your, cut your sister some slack. If if a sister says something or do something you don't like, you know, think about it. We cut these men slack. Some of us cut them too much slack and just go on and on and on. And, but yet when it comes to our sisters, we like, whatever, you know, we don't care nothing about our friendships with our sisters. You know, I know it's been times that, it's been women that has been there to help me and my children out when I was a single mother, when a man wasn't even never there, you know, especially older women. So I'm just saying we need to not be so hard on one another, sisters. We Life is, has been hard enough on us enough as women. And I'm definitely not male bashing or trying to cause us to have any division against men. Not at all, because I, I love righteous, holy men. Hallelujah, who's going to stand up for truth and and treating everyone right, especially a woman. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to get that clear, my sisters. Let's search our hearts and ask the Father to let us have more love and patience towards one another. Girls, we, we just be at each other's throat. We be ready to know what she say. We be ready to fight a sister in a minute or 
argue with a sister or disagree, can we have a little bit more? Can we all just get along in Jesus' name? So I just want to say, if I didn't mean for this video to offend anyone, I, I was pointing out, hoping that, hoping that if there is a woman who's in this, in, a, in this category where she knows that she will search her own heart and knows that, you know, did the man get any worse since I've got with him? You know, do I encourage this type of behavior in him? Do I bring the worst out of him? That's what I'm trying to um, get women to see if, um, of course, we don't have any control over men. You know, we don't. Um, and I'm, ju I'm just speaking, if it doesn't apply to you, you know, don't worry about it, you know. But there are many situations that it, in women that it does apply to. So if it doesn't apply to you, sisters, don't worry about it. Come on, it's all right. It's all right. I still have love for y'all. <laughs> I hope my sisters still have love for me. But we really do, sisters. We need to know how to uh, work together a little bit better than we do. And 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 it's so sad we live in a society. When I came up, um, you know, even when I was in my 20s or whatever, a sister can look at another sister and she totally be straight. She not liking women. And she can compliment her and say, girl, you know you wearing that dress. And you know, and it was just a, a compliment. You was giving your sister some thumbs up, like, sister, you doing it. But it's like somewhere down the line, we became competitive with one another. We don't even like to give our sister, you know, a compliment anymore. So I'm just saying, I'm mindful of that. You know, let's show each other some love. We have it a hard enough, sisters. And especially if you've been a part of Straightway Ministries. So be blessed, y'all. Shalom. And have a good day, sisters.